today is my last day in Cuba and it's been a wonderful experience for me, especially since it's been my first time here. Uh, I was here for Fit Cuba 2018 and basically Fit Cuba is um, the largest tourism fair uh, with 59 different countries being represented here in Cuba from anywhere, you know, media like myself to travel agents to professionals, um, everyone congregates here for this major event. Now, the event ended a few days ago, but I'm still staying here in Cuba with the rest of the Canadian crew uh, just to stay here and do some relaxing and kind of just want to show you around the resort here. Um, my overall experience with the Cuban people is that they're extremely, extremely friendly people, honest and hardworking. Um, some countries you may feel a little cautious, like someone's scamming you whenever someone hands you something. You know, they're expecting you to give them money. Uh, I didn't experience that at all at Cuba. So that's the one thing I really took away from is how safe it is in Cuba. I mean, obviously when you go into the major cities like Havana, uh, you have to worry about people trying to sell you fake cigars like Cohibas, uh, that sort of thing. But, you know, walking late at night by yourself, you know, through dark alleys, uh, you shouldn't feel scared at all. Uh, in fact, when you're in parts of Cuba, there isn't a whole lot of lighting anyway, so you do have to walk in complete darkness a lot of times. Um, for our group, what's been interesting is that we've had police escort for everywhere we went. So that really helped because they blocked the roads and made sure that we arrived everywhere on schedule. Uh, I just want to quickly show you around this place I'm staying at. So there's a hotel resort, but there's horses and rabbits so it's kind of weird it's like a farm but there's a pool right behind me as well and there's a lot of natural animals here in Cuba uh, like on this resort there's chickens there's dogs there's cats uh, horses a lot pigs goats goats are everywhere um, yeah so like I said so far I've been extremely happy with Cuba I recommend coming here um, you know, we're in Santa Clara, which is not your usual destination as people like to go to Havana um, and Ferradera. But if you want something a little different, uh, Santa Clara is definitely something you want to consider. Right here, they make coffee in a very traditional way. Wooden fire, whole bean coffee, and then they have a sieve uh, to filter the coffee. So essentially drip coffee or kind of like their own Hario B60 drip coffee. So a very big part of the Cuban culture is, of course, their music. And pretty much everywhere we went so far, there's been live music the moment we arrived. And of course, there's mojitos and very, Gender specific is that the men get a cigar and the females get a Hotel Dawa in Cuba for the Fit Cuba tourism event. Look at this beautiful room. It's been a long day.
be a very random day. So I just had some sugarcane juice from this old factory and then we're going to be hopping on a steam train. Never seen a steam train in my life. Thank you. So much Anjo. So this is how we roll. Every city we go into, we get a police escort, and it's such a big commotion. Everyone from the city comes up for her. Pero con mi timba no quiero casualidad 